I'm a guy in my 20s working part-time at a convenience store. This unforgettable incident is the scariest thing I've ever experienced while working here. It was a few months ago. There was a boy who came to the convenience store every day. He looked like a middle school student and wore a baseball cap. However, he was always crying whenever I looked closely at his face. I thought he might have some backstory. Seeing him every day, I felt a sense of closeness toward him. So I asked him what was going on, but he always kept his mouth shut and never said anything. The strange thing was that there was always a very big guy following him. At first, I thought he would be one of his family members, but he had a suspicious look about him. One day, the child hesitated as if to tell me something. Then the big guy approached him and he glanced at the man and went outside with him. I knew something was going on. He seemed like he needed help. I made up my mind to talk to him and help this poor kid when he comes in next time. The next day, the boy came back to the convenience store. Still, he was wearing a baseball hat and the big guy was following from behind. Once again, I plucked up my courage and asked quietly what was going on. He glanced back and seemed to say something, but said nothing. I whispered to him, I'll help you, I'll call the police if you need me to. Then he opened his eyes wide and quietly said, no. He looked terrified, poor thing. I wanted to help this kid. Then the man behind looked at us with a frown, approached us and quickly took the child outside. I couldn't get the kid out of my head the entire time, but I didn't know what to do. The next day, he showed up again. I told him again that I would help any way I could. He still remained silent and gave me no response. This time, I eventually decided to follow the kid. After he left, I closed the convenience store and followed him in secret. I guessed that the child was living close to the convenience store, and I was right. I found out the location of his house. When this big guy who was always following the child went somewhere else, I grabbed the kid's shoulder. He looked at me with a shocked face, looked around, and soon began to talk to me. He said that he was kidnapped and was watched by the other men. I don't know when they would come. He told me, he also told me to run as soon as possible. Hey, let me help you. However, he kept saying that if I called the police, we would all die. Then he hurriedly pushed me and went into the house. I was so confused. Then two larger men suddenly approached and asked me, What are you doing here? Do you know the kid? While I was in a panic, they suddenly grabbed me, tried to drag me into the house, and one rummaged in his pockets. I pushed them away with all my might and ran like crazy. I could hear the men shouting, Get back here or I'll kill this kid. I was worried about him, but I had no choice but to run in fear. Eventually, I got out of there and shivered for a long time. I tried to call the police, but suddenly remembered the child's face telling me not to call them. I couldn't do anything. Time just went by, but I didn't even have the courage to go there again. I haven't seen him since that day. After so many days, he no longer showed up at the convenience store. He was even no longer seen near his house. After that, I quit working at the convenience store and stayed in fear for a long time. But I still lived that day in my mind. 
It's just a constant loop. I wonder what happened to the kid. What kind of men were they? And is he still alive? <laughs>